Hello guys, this is Saeed Muhammad Wakas. Today I'm gonna show you how you can work on chill water pump room design. So as you can see that uh, uh, I have placed four chillers over here. These are the air cool chillers. And this is the chiller yard area where these air cool chillers are placed. And you can see that we have uh, three uh, secondary chill water pumps in here. One, two, three and we have uh, five primary chilled water pumps in here you can see these are the primary chilled water pumps so i already made the connections for secondary chilled water pump as you can see in here it's already done uh, now i'm gonna make connections for primary chilled water pumps i'm gonna show you how you can connect your primary pumps with the uh, chillers chiller capacity is 320 tons so we have placed 320 ton chiller in here and uh, here you can see that we have uh, secondary chill water pump 1, 2 and 3 and uh, here we have primary chill water pump 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and you can see the schedule for the chillers is here 4 chillers, air cooled screw chillers and this is for the primary pumps, primary chill water pumps and this schedule is for secondary chill water pumps you can see in here and these are the section details you can see this is for the primary chill water pump section detail and this is for the secondary chill water pump section details so secondary is already done so i'm gonna place now make connection for the primary chill water pumps so as you can see that this is uh, the supply line from the chiller representing in the blue color and this is the main suction header in here and these are the suction pipes that's going to the suction of the pump and this one is the discharge line uh, for the secondary chill water pump and this is the main uh, discharge header and uh, from the secondary chill water pumps and this one is going in here and then it's supplying water to the buildings but before that we will have a valve pit over here for the maintenance purpose and we will have a underground buried pipe connections as you can see in here in the drawing pre-insulated chilled water supply return pipes buried underground we will have a wall pit and then we will have this underground buried pipe connections there so let's start make connection for the primary chilled water pumps so I'm going to floor plan in here so as you can see that this is the main suction header and this is uh, main discharge header for uh, primary chilled water pumps I already placed these pipes so I'm gonna make connections for this one so I already created a section here you can create a section by just going to the view tab and here you can create a section so I am going to open this section and make connection with the piping. So here if you see here in the drawing for primary chill water pumps. This is the section and header is 16 inches you can see in here and uh, you can see this is the suction header that is 14 inches the main header and then we have a suction pipe that is 8 inches dia and discharge is 6 inches from this second primary chill water pump and uh, and discharge header is 16 inches you can see in here so i'm gonna draw this so this is our suction and this is our discharge so first I'm gonna draw the suction we know that it is 8 inches so I'm gonna change the size to 8 inches I'm gonna connect here and then this uh, discharge we know that it's 6 inches and the main header we have to connect in there discharge header then connect here Okay, so connection is done for return pumps. You can see in here.
let's check in the 3d view as you can see in here let me hide uh, these pipes so that you can see clearly and uh, so in the same way i'm going to make connection for the remaining so i'll just delete this one for now just copy these connections and then So I will copy this one, constraint multiple copies because we have 5 pumps there. So I will constrain and make multiple copies. I have to select the base point. Now I will join them with the header, suction and discharge header. So as you can see that primary chilled water pump connections are done. So now I'm gonna connect the main uh, discharge with the return line of the chillers. So I'm gonna draw the pipe from here. This is the main discharge pipe, 16 inch you can see here. I'm gonna place an end cap in here now I will draw the connection from the chiller side so if we go there and check the return side of the chiller you can see that this is the line which we draw in here this is the return from primary chill water pumps this one we already draw and then this one is coming back into the chillers and this one is coming back into the chillers these pipes this one and this one you can see there this one and this one so if you see that the uh, connection over here is 6 inches and here it's also 6 inches when it is connected to the header header size is 8 inches you can see in here both for uh, supply as well as return so I'm gonna make the return connections now to the chiller side so as you can see that supply is already done so now I'm gonna make for return let me hide this first so that I can draw it easily. This is the return connection. And if you see that it is 8 inches and in our drawing it is 6 inches. So I am going to reduce the size to 6 inches. So now I'm gonna draw the 
header for this one just draw the pipe okay same for the second chiller so let me hide this first I will unhide it later so that I can easily draw change the size to 6 inches create an header for this one go to 3d view so you can see that we have created this pipe now I'm gonna place the header and then well before placing the header I will just copy this connection and place to the other chillers just to save the time just copy this one and uh, select the base point of the connection so I'm going to select this base point similarly do for the second one just select it copy select the base point and place it there so I'm gonna place uh, take this base point place it here go back to 3d view So let's go into the 3D view how it looks like. As you can see that we have placed uh, the return connection for the chiller. Now I'm going to place the header pipe for both of these and then I will connect it to the main return header this one. First I will align and then I will connect these two pipes sorry so you can see that I have connected uh, both chillers return to the main return header over here so if you want to see this is for chiller 1 and 2 you see 3d view this is how it looks like this is the return connection which we have made in here now I'm gonna do same for chiller 3 and 4 I'm gonna place the return pipe in here and sorry one more thing and uh, here pipe size is 8 inches so I'm going to change this one 6 inches to 8 inches here so if you see here in the drawing this pipe size is 8 inch for supply as well as return when it's connected to the main return header so I'm going to do the same for chiller 3 and 4 
first I will align then I will connect these two pipes and I will change this size to 8 inches as per drawing so if I move back to my 3d view this is how it looks like as you can see that I have made the connection for the return pumps over here and this is the return header main return header this is from this is the suction header and this is the discharge header so all piping connections are done so let me unhide the elements first and then later we will place uh, uh, pipe accessories and pipe uh, valves trainers everything will place so first let me unhide the elements So in this view I have unhide everything you can see now everything in here all the connections are there so let me go to the floor plan and unhide the elements also in here because I hide some elements in here so as you can see that the hidden elements So I have unhid all the elements. So, so this is how you can design your chill water pump room, and you can make the connections of uh, chillers with the pumps. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. For more videos, keep watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you. Bye bye.